2020 is a big year for Rowan Dennis. With time trial gold up for grabs at the Tokyo Olympics, the 29-year-old is also hoping to claim a third straight world title against the clock. Following his high-profile off-season switch to Team Ineos, the Australian is already bedding in with his new squad. Obviously, the equipment side of things of, of the team, it's always about pushing the limit of uh, what what we can do to be better um, and not being stagnant with that as well. So it was a pretty clear decision when when it was an option, obviously, where I wanted to go. And and it, it's been a perfect fit, uh, especially for my time trialling. It's been very, very specific of, OK, we've, we've got to make sure this, this, this and this is going to be perfect for certain races and especially Tokyo and, and World Championships and big goals. Even winning a time trial on a Grand Tour is big for a team, no matter what team you're in. So it was a very clear choice of where I wanted to be when it became an option, which was Ineos. It's a big year. Um, I, I don't think any male has ever won the Olympics and Worlds in the same year. So that's obviously a big goal of mine. And obviously, to, if I did do that, then I'd, I would get the three, three world titles in a row, which is the same as Mick Rogers, which I never thought really that would be on the cards. I thought, okay, if I can get one, I'll be happy. Um, but human nature is that you, you're never really fully happy. I don't think I'd be finished if I won both of those, especially with the hour record. Just don't know when that's going to happen. I do want to get it, but it also takes a lot of time out of the, the racing program for the team, and I really have to sit down and discuss it with the team properly before I say yes to a certain date. In the interim, Dennis's focus will turn to the 2020 Giro d'Italia. The former BMC team leader last rode the Corsa Rosa back in 2018, when he enjoyed four days in the pink jersey and a time trial stage victory on the way to finishing 16th overall. This year, though, he returns with a different game plan. Twenty eighteen was a really I think a really good hit out with obviously the Giro that year. G C was going really well until um, I'd, I'd probably put it down to the day where Froome went on his little jaunt um, by himself and that was a nail in the coffin for me. Uh, stage nineteen I'm pretty sure and twenty I was just empty. Uh, so I think I even lost forty odd minutes that day. It was something stupid but it showed how, um, how hard that Giro actually was because even though I lost that time in one day, uh, I think I was still 16th on GC, which is, the, the time gaps were stupid. It also shows the level between someone like Froome and myself is completely different. It's here and here. And then um, it's the other way around with other things uh, between him and I. So. Yeah, that's why I sort of, another reason why I think it's just better to stick with what I enjoy and um, what, I'm, what I'm really good at. Me being the GC leader, I think it's not something for me. Uh, I touched on it a little bit earlier in the year and on the reasons why, and I just don't think it's, it's not what made me happy. Uh, one week tours and, and time trials is what I enjoy, so I'm, I'm going to stick with that from now on. With that in mind, Dennis is looking to his favourite type of stage. The prologue or the opening time trial would be great to get it, uh, get that win. The other two would really, well, the last stage is a time trial. Um, so there's nothing to save. You, you go all in, there's no energy to be um, saved for the mountains. But it is quite a heavy week before that as well. And really, the middle time trial push comes to shove, I think if I was told I had to take it easier that day to help out with the, obviously later on in or the next day or the, the days after for, for the GC, then I'd just have to take that on the chin and, and do the team thing, I think. So obviously I hope that's not the case, but if it is, it is. 
being there when when a teammate wins the Tour de France would be a huge highlight in my career. But in saying that, if if that doesn't happen and I'm a part of a Giro win or of World to win, I think it would be just as special. Uh, Grand Tour is Grand Tour. Obviously, yes, the Tour de France is the big show, but I think it's also there's a lot to take from those other two races as well. So. To be a part of a team that wins a Grand Tour is, I think, special no matter what the name is.